Hey, uh, Ron Yarbrough, I'm just checking in. I uh, wanted to get another video out about the construction to perm one-time close program that we're offering because um, I think it's an outstanding program for the Lake of the Ozarks. And I wanted to give just a few more details so that people will know uh, what they need to do to get qualified uh, for this program, uh, both with consumers and real estate professionals. Um, it's very highly re recommended that we work with uh, everybody together as a team to make this a nice, easy, um, as easy as it can be transaction to get your uh, modular or manufactured home on a lot and constructed. So I will go through a few of the details. Um, the one-time close uh, construction program offerings that we have right now are FHA, USDA, VA, and conventional. Now, USDA and VA uh, both do not require any kind of down payment um, as long as the home will uh, appraise for the amount of the uh, total project, which in the lake area should not be uh, too difficult depending on what your site development costs would be. Um, so um, hopefully we can get quite a few uh, newer homes uh, put in with no money down. Anyway, FHA uh, requires a minimum credit score of 620. Um, the uh, maximum loan to value will be 96.5% uh, on a purchase. Um, the eligible terms would be either a 15-year, 30-year, fully amortized fixed rate. Um, the builder draws would be dependent upon the builder that's approved. Right now, we've got uh, Mike uh, McDonald over at uh, Ozark uh, Manufactured Homes approved as a, as a builder, um, and he's using the draw program at the moment. Um, we'll eventually probably switch over to the no draw program, but the program itself will, at once you're closed, will pay for all of the construction, site development cost, uh, home, and everything and it'll all go through Ozark Homes as an approved uh, vendor. Uh, USDA is a maximum 100% uh, loan uh, of the appraised value. Uh, the minimum credit score for USDA for this program is 640. The eligible terms are only a 30-year fixed fully amortized loan. Um, it, it should be noted that none of these programs right now we're offering um, for site-built homes uh, due to the time constraints on these loans. We got to have these loans completed and funded within a certain amount of time. Uh, VA is also 100% um, loan, so no down payment requirement. Minimum credit score on it is uh, 620. And on conventional, the uh, maximum loan to value through Fannie Mae would be 95%, minimum credit score 700. And on the Freddie Mac program, um, you can do a maximum loan to value of 97% with 3% down on a choice home loan product. Uh, but the minimum credit score with Freddie is 720. Um, the Fannie and Freddie programs are all available on a 15 year, 20 year or 30 year fully amortized loan um, and can be done on modular, uh, multi wide uh, manufactured homes and uh, Manufactured uh, Advantage program. So if the lot is already owned, um, if you already own the land and you're not purchasing the land with um, the construction firm one-time close program, uh, we can use the equity of that land um, on some of the uh, loan products. Um, if the land is owned less than six months on uh, on FHA, then we do need the lesser of the cost of the land or the appraised site of the value of the land, whichever is less. If the land is owned over six months um, at the date of the case assignment, then we can use the appraised site value of the land. On uh, VA, if the land is owned less than 12 months at the closing date, the lesser of the cost of the land or the appraised uh, site value of the land is used. If the land is owned over 12 months, then you can go off of the appraised value. Um, the fair market value on uh, USDA um, to, of the proposed construction uh, doesn't have any uh, land seasoning, so you can be entitled to that land for a very short period of time. 
um, on the USDA um, construction perm one-time closed program. On conventional, um, you have to use the um, hard cost of the of the loan, basically the the value of the lot or the cost of the lot, plus all the improvements to the lot um, and the um, home itself will be what determines the value. It will be appraised to make sure that the value is substantiated, um, but uh, shouldn't have too many issues, especially at the Lake of the Ozarks. So what's the first step? The first step is to get yourself pre-qualified. I have put a QR code on here. So if you want to pause the video and, and scan that uh, QR code, um, it can take you into my uh, site for you to begin the pre-qualification process so we can get you pre-approved. Uh, you'll need to gather up the last two years of your income information, whether it be W-2s, tax returns, um, whatever it is, uh, your type of income. We have to have two-year history of that income in order to detain, uh, determine what your sustainable income is going forward in the future. And on some of the government products, we have to make sure that you don't exceed any certain uh, income guidelines. Uh, need to gather up your asset information. Uh, depending on the program, some programs require a little bit more reserves, which means money left in the bank after closing. Some programs don't require a lot of reserves, uh, but we need to get all that information to determine which is your best program to be able to get the uh, process going. I uh, need to take a look at your credit uh, to make sure that there's nothing that needs any attention. Since this is a construction perm one-time close, you're only closing one time and you have your permanent loan in place as soon as the uh, project is complete. We do have to do a little bit more due diligence during the credit file um, part of the file to make sure that you are going to be hopefully having a job and everything remains the same at the time of the completion. So what's the second step? If you have not identified the lot or land, you need to get with a real estate professional that understands the land plus home construction process. Um, I'm more than happy to educate um, a real estate professional that you're working with if I'm not already working with them. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve uh, for this because it's a little bit different than the standard. You go out and pick out a property and buy it and put a down payment or no down payment and close. So there's a few more details involved. Uh, but I'd be happy to work with any any real estate professional to give them that knowledge so that they could help you uh, figure out how to get um, this done. If you already own the land, then we need to start working on the pieces to the puzzle. I have put a QR code in here that you're uh, able to scan that will allow you to download our construction uh, process manual. Um, this is primarily for just a construction loan itself, but it does give you quite a few details in the construction loan part of the process. Um, so feel free to download that and uh, and reach out to me with any questions you may have. Um, if you already own the land, then we can start working to the pieces of the puzzle. Um, if it's site built and we are doing something on an in-house portfolio two-time closed loan, uh, we can do that once we've uh, determined you know the land that you've owned and, and put together that package. On the one-time closed program, we can only use modular and manu manufactured homes for this, this loan product, uh, but we need to get those pieces to the puzzle too on what the site development costs um, are going to be with the uh, approved builder and then the entire uh, home invoice of what the house is going to be costing after it's uh, delivered and completely set up on site. Um, you can download the construction guide right here by scanning the QR code. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me. What's your next step? Well, your next step is to, uh, this program is a very uh, easy program, especially if you're working with an approved builder. If you are a builder that is interested in getting approved um, or a retailer for the modular um, manufactured home one-time closed program, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, it's a fairly simple process, but there is, uh, quite a few different forms we need to uh, get filled out. Um, if you're going to be doing VA, we need to be a builder number. There's a few details that we have to get ironed out um, to get you into the system and get you approved. Um, we can do that after the the contracts have been written, uh, but it's it's more favorable to have you uh, do that process before we actually get a contract, so that we don't have minimum timelines to to meet if there's any delay in the approval process. 
<laughs> you need to identify the home uh, modular or manufactured that fits into your budget with the turnkey purchase. What a turnkey purchase means uh, to most consumers uh, so that you understand it means that the house you will go in, you will contract with uh, one contract and that one contract will be sufficient to pay for all the site development, the sewer, the septic, uh, foundation, pad, whatever it is you're doing on site. Um, all of those prices will be included in that central contract um, through the approved builder. And then you only have one contract and then that contract is fulfilled and is completed. And so it's a turnkey purchase. This program will allow you to close one time. Um, if you are buying a lot, it will pay off the lot um, on the first draw. Um, if you have real estate professionals involved, the real estate commissions will be paid out at the time of closing. And then your house will be ordered as soon as the loan funds. And then that house will begin uh, being built for you. Or if it's already on the lot um, with the retailer, it'll be reserved for you uh, for when the site development is completed. Uh, one closing takes place, then it's off and running. Uh, site development it begins, the home is ordered, and then the home arrives and gets set on site. Uh, from a title standpoint, the next step would be once the house is completed, you will have to return to the title company to do a quick modification, uh, which will allow your loan to be uh, put into a permanent loan status, and the amortization will, will occur then over a 30-year fixed uh, period of time. Anyway, it's Ron Yarbrough I'm with Prime Lending. You can reach out to me anytime. My phone number is 573-525-4015. Uh, love to help uh, consumers and uh, homeowners. So uh, feel free to reach out to me at any time. Thanks. Bye.